Welcome back everybody. We're out at the range today to test some improvised armor. So I recently had my roof redone and that was a lot of noise. But in addition to that, we had some shingles that were left over and I was looking at them and thinking about what shingles are made of. This right here, which is largely made of asphalt, which is a petroleum product and it's super sticky and dense. Fun fact, not good to cut these with a Sawzall. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Um, but anyway, very dense material and readily available as well. So they come in a 30 pack, at least the one I have here. And what we're going to do today is shoot them and basically see what the heck it'll stop. Again, just looking at it, it seems fairly dense. If you had to improvise and make some body armor, 30 of them might fit in some plate carriers. It's about two and a half inch to three-ish inches thick. Um, so some of them might fit in there. If you wanted to cut them to size, who knows? Regardless, we are gonna shoot them today and see what they can stop, if anything. But I don't know, I mean, they might do really well. One way to find out. We've got the shingles lined up against a box full of dirt, so it should have some good resistance to it. Uh, weakest load I had out here today with me is some uh, 158 grain Remington 38 Special coming out of a snub nose revolver. So if it doesn't stop that, it ain't going to stop much else. But let's find out. Well, I was trying to stay high because it looks like that's where the shingles are tightest together, the way we have it stacked up. But apparently this revolver shoots high with this picker load at this particular distance. So we're gonna have to bring it down a little bit and let's do that. Obviously that was our first load that kind of skimmed through and definitely penetrated. Second load, just below that as you guys saw. And we'll go to the back and it looks like, I don't think it went through. Maybe it did, I don't see any bullet fragments. It, I guess it went through. I mean, it went through, but it went through just barely guys. Interesting, let me grab some more shingles, and see what happens. All right, same exact load, same exact gun. We doubled the shingles to see if it'll stop. I'm not entirely still convinced that it actually went through. It might have pushed right to the edge. One way to find out. Let's check it out. All right, so as you guys saw in slow-mo there, that's where we hit it. And of course, we'll check down to 30, the first 30. And there's the bullet right there. So kind of exactly what I suspected is that it barely went through, if at all. But yep, stopped right there and literally number 31. So we'll keep going to see what this stuff can and cannot stop. Up next, we have 185 grain hollow point there from Remington, 45 cal out of my 1911. So light for caliber, but still probably going quite slow. We'll see. We'll see. You guys can see there, we're 45 cal hole, and we'll pull back the first 30. And it made it through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it went through 40, stopped in the 41st right there. This is not looking good. So what I'm gonna do now, well, you know what? I have a 5.7 out here. Let me test that and see how it does with the added speed of 5.7. We have some 40 grain Federal in there, just ball stuff coming out of the, uh, PSA 5.7 rock, so it should have quite a bit of velocity. It's a long barrel. One way to find out how it'll do. That was weird. Let's check it out. What was interesting about that to me is how little it moved. Um, we had our hole there, of course. We'll pull back the first 30. And interesting, so it's tearing there on the 30th. So something's going on there. Two, four, six, eight. It's tumbling. 10, 12. So that's in the 42nd one right there. 42nd shingle is what captured it. So with certain types of, I guess we'll call it armor, it doesn't do that well with slow stuff, but like a really hot, rifle cal caliber will get stopped earlier because it'll break apart, if that makes sense. So we're gonna test that theory out and uh, hit it with a rifle here. 
and something that's going pretty darn fast and see what happens. Once again, if I didn't reiterate it, we're at about, I don't know, nine feet, eight feet, something like that. So we're pretty darn close. We're getting muzzled a lot for the energy. We have some 45 grain, 223 Remington coming out of my BCM Recce 18. And again, a lot of velocity there. It is a jacketed hollow point bullet. One way to find out what it's gonna do. As you guys saw there in the slow-mo, that was our entrance hole there. Let's see if it went through 30. No, I'm not sure. That's definitely it, that's definitely it. That's definitely it. Okay, so then that's it. Got it. So what you can see here is as I'm going through, there's some petals from the bullets that are coming off. So definitely broke apart. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, and it stopped. Where did it stop though? Because that's the five seven. There it is. Nope, that's not it. It's gotta be right in here somewhere. I'm seeing bullet fragments down here. We got a clear pass through there and not here. So it's in here somewhere. So that's what, one, two, three, four, five. So in the th 34th shingle is where it stopped. And you, like I was saying, guys, you can see it fragmenting apart as it goes through. Interesting. So the five, seven went further. Interesting. All right, let's hit it with something else. Time to test out my bullet composition and speed scenario. Obviously, we don't have anything fancy right here. Remington 150 grain 308 ball coming out of a 16 inch scar. And we're still at like muzzle distance, but if my theory is correct, this should drive all the way through. One way to find out. Let's see. Again, y'all have seen the slow-mo and I have not, but I didn't see any dirt move, which is an indicator that it might not have gone all the way through. Obviously our entrance hole there, we'll pull back the first 30. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it went through as a gigantic hole. 308 kids, it's, uh, it's no joke. And there you go, went all the way through. So it definitely looks like it's gonna be projectile dependent. That said, there's definitely some things we can learn here. Now that we've killed the armor, the review or the test essentially is done. We found out what it takes to kill it. And that is a big, heavy rifle cartridge going at a medium speed. Definitely goes through all 60. Obviously you could keep layering these if you wanted to, but at some point it becomes impractical. And in my opinion, 30 is kind of pushing it. And if you're barely stopping a 38 special there, it's probably not the best improvised armor. That said, if it's all you had, and you're looking to like set up a barrier or something like that in your house, maybe a strong point to shoot from, it's definitely better than nothing. Uh, you know, like if you put it barricaded like against a door that you planned on using as a defense, like a last uh, stand type of defense in your house, it'd work, it'd work for sure. You know, if you had a couple of them there, uh, it gives you some cover when you otherwise wouldn't have any. So there is that. Do I recommend it? No. Are there better materials? Yes. <laughs> so, but hey, if you just got them hanging around like I do right now, sitting out in my driveway, why not? Uh, if you don't have any other use for it. So with that guys, that's kind of uh, the end of the video. If you like this type of video, if you were surprised by the results of this video, then I'm guessing you're not a subscriber because we do a lot of tests like this and this type of result is not that crazy. I'm a little bit surprised about how poorly it did with the pistol rounds. That said, I kind of expected what happened with the rifle rounds. Uh, but if you were surprised by this, then you're probably not a subscriber. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you're not seeing two to four videos a week here on the channel, you can sign up for my email at the website here on your screen. That email goes out at most once a month, and it has all of my videos since the previous email. So that way there's no big tech giant censoring your eyes from my content through an algorithm. Additionally, uh, if you like deals on stuff like actual armor, 
uh, ammo, gear, etc., optics, uh, you can sign up for my daily deals email at the website here on your screen. This email goes out at most once a day, and it has all of the deals uh, from the day that I found, six or seven of them anyway. And if it's in that email, it is the cheapest I know of anywhere on the internet on that particular day. So that way you guys can save yourself some time because you don't have to do the looking because I've already done it for you. And hopefully, hopefully rather save yourself some money on some items as well. So with that, that's all I got for you. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.